Hi there. In this clip, we'll explore the application of the Kanban tool to the UX design process, seeing how it can help you stay organized. Let's take a look. As a quick introduction, Kanban is a highly successful visual project management method for teams to track and manage work. It was developed in the 1950s by Toyota to improve manufacturing processes and has since been adapted for use in many other industries. Kanban is a pull system in which new work can only start when there is the capacity to complete it. In other words, when work on all previously begun items is done. A customizable Kanban toolboard can help you manage the user experience design process from start to finish. You'd visualize all your process steps as board columns and record the progress of each task. A Kanban board for UX design might include the following stages. Backlog. It would hold all initial design tasks, for example, user research and suggestions, creating client personas or setting up wireframe plans. Discovery. In this column, containing probably the most demanding parts of the job, you'd plan tasks related to conducting design research, user interviews, heat mapping, designing user surveys, and sketching user journeys. This stage would also hold items related to stakeholder interviews and goal setting, competition review, or accessibility audits. Once ready, you'd also analyze the results and draw your conclusions. Next is ideation. Here's where you'd put tasks related to brainstorming and generating ideas for the design. It could include mind maps, sketches, mock-ups, wireframes, etc. Then onto design. At this stage, you'd be focusing on making interactive prototypes and setting out different designs to try out at the next step to get a feel for what works and what doesn't. There will usually be a lot of to and froing between these two iterative steps. And so you reach the self-explanatory testing stage, where either the internal team only or together with your beta testers, you'll try out the prototypes. Typically, you'd structure this as usability tests, followed by collecting and analyzing user feedback. And now, refining. At this end phase stage, you'd organize any final tweaks and corrections to ensure results that meet the needs of both your client, users, and your team. So, very much a quality assurance step. Finally, you'd be able to move completed tasks with great satisfaction into the done column. To make the progress status crystal clear to the team, most stages of this board are split into the buffer and working subcolumns. Therefore, there's no room for doubt on which items need picking up and which are already in progress. By simply visualizing the design process like this, your team will have no trouble telling which tasks need working on or at what stage each element is at any given time. Most importantly, they'll be able to immediately recognize the jobs that got stuck in the pipeline or are taking much longer than they should, signaling either process inefficiencies or struggling team members. In either case, this will allow you to take action to maintain the project on track. This specific workflow is set up for a single UX design project to keep things clear. But rather than switching between Kanban boards for various projects, this team is taking advantage of the board's swim lanes, horizontal rows, to support multiple UX design clients on the same page. Particular team members will collapse those swim lanes they're not involved in at a given time, making an overview of all their tasks possible while still allowing for a focused, single project view. And to make the most of the Kanban system, the board has whip limits set on all in-progress types of columns. The specific applied limits work to suggest not starting more than one task per person in each stage, ever so gently pressuring the team to finish the started items before getting to work on new ones. The Kanban tool features that designers will appreciate the most will be, for instance, the ability to show related project images on task cards like this, being able to link any teamwork design files stored on Dropbox or OneDrive directly to tasks so that they're connected to the card and tracked appropriately. You can also send images and other files directly inside the Kanban tool task comments section. Furthermore, to help with keeping track of UX tests and opinions, feel free to use the card's custom fields, such as votes and rating. And to stay visually on top of how far along a given task is, Use the checklists with a progress bar on card fronts. Of course, your team will be able to define the task colors used for every board to decide the meaning behind colors. 
This example board uses white cards to show work items that weren't approved for doing yet, turquoise for tasks that someone has been assigned to deal with, brown on tasks that have become problematic to complete, and gray as optional work or a general info feedback card. Whenever the team wants to analyze the process, they filter the board by task type and immediately get an answer to the following questions. What needs approval? What's ongoing? Where are we stuck? And what more could we do? Answering them is the focus of the team's meeting every few days. Other than this, all communication flows through comments and task or checklist item assignments. Nice and easy. Kanban tool helps teams collaborate better by illustrating their design process. In many cases, that alone can lead to more informed decision-making and a higher chance of foreseeing problems, and hence to better final designs. Also, while you work, Kanban tool gathers valuable data on your process. By measuring how long tasks sit in each process stage, you can spot bottlenecks and find areas that could do with improvement. With that, you will be able to achieve one of Kanban's general goals. Refine the design process with time, make it continually better and better, grow your efficiency and teamwork satisfaction. In conclusion, Kanban tool will help your UX design team to organize, collaborate, and achieve better results faster. To try it out with your colleagues today, just set up a trial account on kanbantool.com.